is when they roll up their sleeves. It's like when your sleeves all the way to the cuffs, it's business. And then when they're rolled up, it's down to business. And it's not about having the sleeves rolled up, it's rolling them up in the presence of a woman. <laughs> Have mercy. Looks matter. Whether we like to admit it or not, most of us judge on appearances. When you get to 40, 50, 60, and beyond, your body will change. Clothes that looked good when you were 20 start to look like shit when you get to 50. Very interestingly, there have been blogs, podcasts, and YouTube videos about this topic. This week, I found everything, and I mean everything the internet has to say about this topic. With this in mind, let's start with our first mistake, which talks about hair. Let's start with head hair. If you are fortunate enough to have hair, gray hair is common as we age. A lot of ladies love the silver fox look, and to be honest, most guys will say the gray look looks very modern and stylish. Yes. However, many older guys try their best to hide the gray which can make us look older unless it's very, very, very well done. For those who are balding or are bald, facial hair can make a big difference. A big, bushy beard can add years onto a face. Thus, it is best to keep it trim or focus on some light stubble, which can be a great look for older guys. Wearing a cap is a common fashion item for older guys who wish to look youthful. This is often a sports brand or team, but the item is often unsuitable for most occasions. On top of this, research shows that wearing caps frequently can lead to hair loss and negative scalp health. Some believe caps offer adequate sun protection, but they typically don't shield the neck or ears, areas vulnerable to sun damage. And finally, they can be a pain in social situations and are considered rude to wear inside across many cultures. But anyway, we also have chest hair. Chest hair that is on display is not a good look for an older guy. Hell, it's not even a good look for a younger guy. I met a few women in my time who were into body hair. They were freaks, if you know what I mean. So with these kinds of ladies, showing your body hair might work, but for most people, it's a pretty big turn off and it does not radiate youthfulness. Therefore, it's best to avoid low v-neck clothing especially if you are Tarzan's brother. A lot of older people are drawn to accessories. I don't know why. This is both men and women, to be honest with you, brother. In fact, during the research on this topic, I sat in a cafe opposite an 80-something-year-old woman who looked like she was auditioning for Mr. T. And I pity the fool that tries to get in my way. A nice watch or bracelet can really add to your look when you get into your older age. It adds uniqueness, charm, and an element of sophistication. When it comes to clothing for your upper body, there are lots of choices. Having a brighter color on your top half than your lower half can highlight certain parts of your body which can be used to your advantage if you work out. One common mistake is how to wear shirts. Um. Owl off Asia? Do you think I'm an idiot and I don't know how to wear shirts? No, I know you know how to wear a shirt, brother. Yet some shirts work best in certain ways. For instance, formal shirts are generally designed to be tucked in. They are often made for men who are businessmen and are normally paired with some nice trousers. This is why they tend to be longer than informal shirts. Informal shirts are best untucked and can work well with a nice pair of jeans. With everyday t-shirts and tees, a lot of gentlemen love slogans and logos. But the issue is that most such as a sports team are designed to be really loud and bright. Therefore, the clothing is often loud and does not look good. It's best for older guys to opt for softer colors. A plain pattern or a plain tee is not boring and can work well with the rest of your look. Tank tops also known as sleeveless t-shirts, are not a good look for most guys at any age. Maybe I'm biased here, but living in Asia, I see a lot of older guys wearing loose tank tops that highlight their extra tire and flappy arms. It's best to stay away. On an added note, never wear sleeveless clothing with shorts. This is especially true if you are a gentleman over six feet. 
Jeans come in many styles and the jeans that are too tight or too loose are the biggest blunders a lot of older guys make when trying to look younger. Jeans don't need to have a million pockets or be a funky color to look good. In most cases, simple, fitted dark jeans work best. Avoid ripped jeans at all costs. I know this has been fashionable recently, but it's not a good look for anyone over the age of 25. Your shoes will determine your look. The choice to wear shoes, boots, or sneakers can have a big impact on your style. But the mistake older guys often make is wearing those running sneakers. Running shoes feel amazing, and that's why we like them. But they are a big mistake if you are trying to look good and dress well. This also includes all sporting clothing, but especially running shoes. Socks are a big one. I don't know what it is when we get older, but we tend to pull our socks up higher and higher. This is not an issue, but it can be problematic and more noticeable in two scenarios. Firstly, when pairing shorts with conspicuously high socks. And secondly, when opting for brightly colored or athletic socks. For a man aiming to maintain a polished look with age, it's advisable to be mindful of sock height and color.